guys, Matt Plaster here again from Trailers of the East Coast in Moxville, North Carolina. Uh, coming to you today to talk about one of the manufacturers that we carry trailers from, uh, which is the Aluminum Trailer Company uh, out of Indiana. Uh, ATC was founded back in 1999 by Steve Brenneman uh, out of a garage building snowmobile trailer prototypes. And uh, over the years they expanded uh, to you know five employees and now they've actually expanded now to over 200 employees building a complete line of custom cargo trailers, uh, race car haulers, RVs such as this one, uh, and even more. Now to showcase a few of the uh, important features of an ATC trailer, I'm going to actually do a quick demonstration for you of this uh, 7x22 ATC RV toy hauler. Now some of you may be curious exactly what a toy hauler trailer is. Uh, a toy hauler is a combination of a recreational vehicle or RV uh, along with a cargo or car or motorcycle hauler type package built into it. Uh, they're geared more towards the, uh, the weekender uh, or the folks that like to go out and camp and maybe bring their four-wheelers with them or their motorcycles, but they still want to be able to have some of the comforts of home in the trailer that's carrying everything. Uh, ATC has designed this RV uh, unlike a lot of the conventional toy haulers that you'll see out there with steel frames wood construction and fiberglass construction that can rust, uh, rot, crack, and fade. Uh, they've designed the ATC RV to be all aluminum construction. Uh, the big benefits of that, of course, is you don't need a large tow vehicle to pull something like this uh, because it weighs so much less, and also it's much lower maintenance. Uh, the steel trailers, wood trailers, and fiberglass, you have to be careful when you're keeping them clean and you have to be careful with moisture. Uh, in an aluminum trailer such as this one here, if you ever get any grease or fuel spilled in the back, all you need to do is take out your belongings and you can hose the trailer out. Uh, and it makes it much, much easier to keep up. Uh, if you look on the side of this ATC RV, you'll see it's got a full length awning. It's also got speakers for the interior and exterior so you can enjoy some music while you're out here grilling out or uh, hanging out in your lawn chairs or whatever you like to do. Uh, this one's also got a fold out RV style step along with the door and a hydraulic open so that it stays open. Uh, that way when you're going in and out of the trailer and it's windy outside like it is today, you don't have to worry about that door slamming shut on you. Now if you'll follow me around the back, I'll show you some other cool features. Now one of the other unique and space-saving features of the ATC RV is its tip-out bunk system. Uh, on a lot of traditional toy hauler style trailers and even campers, uh, the sleeping arrangements are usually provided by some fold-down bunks from inside or what we refer to as a rollover sofa that can fold out into a flat bed surface. ATC actually decided to improve on that system a little bit by including a tip-out bunk. Uh, most of you that have ever owned a pop-up camper or anything like that are probably fairly familiar with this type of construction, uh, which uses a, a fabric and, and set up very similar to a tent uh, to provide not only protection from the elements, but also a, a lightweight and space-saving package. This tip-out bunk actually contains a full queen-size bed uh, and has plenty of support for a number of folks to sleep in and uh, folds up nice and neatly and flush into the side of the trailer for travel. Now uh, you're all probably wondering, now that you've seen all of the RV features, how do I get my toys in the back? Well, let's go around back and I'll show you that. Now coming around to the back of the toy hauler, you'll start to see a setup that looks fairly familiar to those of you that have race car trailers and motorcycle trailers, which is a conventional spring assist ramp door. And it's very easy to lower and operate, matter of fact it can be done by one person just like this. Now looking into the interior of the ATC RV, the first thing you'll probably notice is the aluminum floor. Uh, rather than use wood like most companies do, ATC has opted to use an extruded aluminum board setup. Uh, this aluminum flooring actually has an I-beam integrated into it about every four inches. What that does is it uh, actually adds to the structure of the trailer and gives you more rigidity and makes sure that the trailer is going to support the weight that you store in it. Uh, if you'll notice, I've got the rollover sofa stowed to the side of the trailer folded flat against the wall so you can get a good idea for how much space is available. Uh, ATC includes nine flush mount D-rings in this trailer standard, so you've got plenty of places to tie down your motorcycles as well as your four-wheelers uh, and any other equipment you may want to uh, tag along with you. Uh, and now I'll show you how you can fold it out and set it up as your living quarters. Now 
Now another one of the hallmarks of ATC's construction is their custom finish work. Uh, you'll see in the interior of this trailer that there are a lot of cabinets. Uh, these are actually all manufactured in-house in ATC's custom cabinet shop. Uh, and you'll see that they have overhead cabinets and you also have your kitchenette and uh, your refrigerator and all of your storage and even your bathroom up in the front are all housed in custom cabinets built by ATC. Uh, the walls are covered in a weather resistant vinyl and the ceiling is actually covered the same and if you'll notice they've used a flush mount LED light instead of using the traditional fluorescent lights. Uh, this enables you to have plenty of light in the trailer regardless of whether you're hooked to shore power or if you're just hooked up to your truck and you have to stop on the side of the road or just run on battery power out of the trailer. Uh, your speakers for your stereo are also flush mounted into the ceiling and uh, we'll show you a few more details inside. Now with their custom cabinetry, uh, ATC includes plenty of storage and also houses a lot of your amenities in the cabinets, such as your stereo system, uh, which is, has a USB input as well as iPod capability, your custom color matched refrigerator, which will actually run on uh, DC power such as your batteries, uh, AC from your shoreline, as well as gas uh, from your propane bottles. And as you can see, it's a full size unit with a freezer. You'll also notice that uh, even though this is a fairly stripped down version of an RV, you still have a lot of your creature comforts, such as your AC, which is located here in the ceiling. You also get plenty of storage and cabinets in your kitchenette. Uh, you'll have an overhead cabinet here, which includes your breaker box for all of your power accessories inside. You have storage underneath your counter as well. And the cabinets also will house your sink, your gas cooktop, and the controls for your integrated hot water heater. And one of the best features and one that uh, most of you have probably had some questions about during this video is the bathroom. Uh, most toy haulers have a fairly cramped bathroom and sometimes they have setups where the toilet and shower will uh, share a stall. Uh, not the case in the ATC RV. As you can see, uh, it's a quite roomy setup. It's got a full size shower, a uh, nicely located toilet where there's plenty of room around. It also has a full vanity with storage cabinets both underneath and on top to the side with actually some shelves in there so you can keep all of your uh, toiletries and various accessories organized. So just to recap, uh, today we've looked at the ATC RV toy hauler trailer from the Aluminum Trailer Company in Indiana. Uh, you can find this trailer along with uh, several other ATC cargo trailers, utility trailers, car haulers and more. Uh, on our website at www.trailerseast.com. Uh, we're Trailers of the East Coast, located in Moxville, North Carolina. Uh, we keep these trailers and many other types and brands in stock for you to come check out. So uh, visit us on our website or come see us at 418 Interstate Drive here in Moxville, North Carolina. Uh, again, my name is Matt Plaster, and from all of us here at Trailers of the East Coast, happy trailering.